Now let's start to talk about sampling inside Arnold. Uh, if we have here a look, a very quick look at this model and the render preview here. Uh, this this uh, shader is very very simple, just uh, uh, specular in order to give a little bit of glossy as you see here. But we have uh, by the default setting some noise up there and up here okay and any other issues so let's see what to do in order to uh, remove this noise and just to get a cleaner render if you see here we have rendered in 15 seconds with this resolution with a sampling of 3 2 2 2 2 2 so let's have a look at the sampling here at the render setting we have as we said the sampling and the re ray depth so let's close the ray depth now and just have a look at the sampling by default we have the camera AA or the anti-alias diffuse or it's like the global illumination the glossiness refraction and subscattering materials and the volume indirect. In order to understand them, let's have to close all of these qualities like this. Okay, and let's just make this only one. Okay, so the camera here, camera and alias have only one sample to render this scene. If you see here, it has certain calculations for these numbers or these symbols or rays in order to see what's going on. It tells you that it has one sample here for the camera, none for the diffuse, none for the glossy or refraction. Okay, so let's have here a look at the render and make it one don't know why it's stopped okay it was stopped because I have a look at the screenshot I take a screenshot of the final render with the default setting and now let's have a look at the difference between this render now and the previous render see now I have more and more noise I have really dark spaces like here and there and noises even in the shadow that's because the camera anti-alias is not enough in order to get every detail in our model so I'm going here to just increase it with 2 now I begin to remove some noise of some areas like that because I have more more rays in order to see and clean these details but they are not enough if you notice closely here you will find this number 4 why? because the, it takes the samples of the camera and just take a square of this number and put it like this so when you are writing two and uh, you ask the camera to give you two sampling to render the your scene actually you are not giving two but you are giving four so there are four samples to render that but they are not enough so let's make it about three so square of three is nine now it began to be better than before see we just wait a little bit to see if it will remove the noise here and there and here also and all those shadow began to be cleaner than before that's nice that's cool very nice 
it's not enough and we will make it bigger but it's okay not now in order not to increase our time because as you see here it's not 19 anymore but it began to be 31 okay at this one oh yeah it was 50 but here it is 31 now I have some places that are dark why because I don't have any samples for the diffuse let's make this one let's see okay if you don't see it good let's just make a screenshot of this one here keep it and just make it here one now let's see the difference between this render with one sample for the diffuse and the previous render if you notice here it begin to give a light a very very light light here little light up there see it's very dar dark and now it begin to be to have a light here and there and also at uh, this front piece here so imagine if we have it two samples okay I think it will be more brighter than before see okay cool very cool so when you are giving these samples you are giving samples for the diffuse of your model a global illumination to the do the places uh, somehow not getting in light so this piece is uh, away from the light the light is up and from the two sides here okay so there is no light up to this area or that area so that's why it's not really uh, white or have light but if you have a look at this here you also have symbols of 36 36 samples for the diffuse because they are two squares so these numbers here they are two squared so the three squared by three and two by three uh, by two and then the two numbers to, to give you 36 samples in order to render your scene so be careful with the numbers and very very tiny difference will give you much time to render okay if you have glossy it will not be rendered so let's check this out and let's have here for example two for the glossness to see if we have a glossness here now it will be rendered it's not rendered with zero number or zero value okay so let's compare between this render and the previous renders then now yeah we have a shiny space here it's not uh, shiny than before like before see and also we have this piece here and that one and a lot of other spaces that were really dark and now begin to be much lighter than before thanks to two samples of glossy if you have refractions then you give two for the refraction and give two for the subscattering materials so using samples of this area or the global uh, render of Arnold will give you enough samples removing all the noise here but we have also the ray depth sampling ray depth sampling are here dealing with the other samples or the subdivisions of your scene so you don't have here only three two 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 for refraction i don't have any refraction but it's okay no problem 
I only have here about 36 symbol for uh, my render here and you have as maximum 117 for your rays and remember and before I forgot if you have an animation shot you you may look the assembling better in order not to uh, just lose your your render quality and your scene here just by uh, the animation sequence so don't forget to just check this option to make it that to make you be sure of your quality in your uh, every frame so going back to ray, ray depth here or the subdivision of every sample of the previous samples also in order to understand them just make all of them zero but let's have a snapshot of the final one here snapshot number seven and just make it zero if your numbers exist 10 it will not accept enough them also but it will not take any other uh, samples right here okay as you see here it will not render the same render as before because because we don't have any uh, renders or any samples subdivision samples to render these back uh, pieces of your model so you don't have any uh, light here in that corner or at that corner like before and we got the dark place here the dark uh, view at this place here and also there and also here and here and we forgot the glossy area all of this we have it here in our main sampling yes but it's only from the camera the camera is not reaching every piece of your model or of your scene so that's why we need the ray depth ray depth just reaching that away area from the camera and began to illuminate and make it really look nice and also look dark like this so let's see here if we have just one sample for the diffuse what's the difference we will have we will not have dark place like before if you see here if you just make it zero we have dark just focus at this area okay and now make it one and let's have a look here see no dark area in that place and that really look nice also the glossy area here we have a glossiness here but we ha don't have any glossiness for the ray depth so the ray, ray depth needs to have rays at least one in order to just answer these two symbols of the main camera in order to make uh, any glossiness area just appear so we need just one sample for the glossy voila now we have a lot of glossiness just that began to be appear here as i told you before i don't have any reflection but if you have a reflection area you need to have one sample for reflection and one other sample for refraction just to make your model look perfect so as you see here sampling and ray depth very 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 important in order to get away from your noise in your scene so if you just need to remove any noise or just to make specific area not dark and look nice you have to understand every detail of these options to understand what option to edit what do what so when should I edit diffuse or gloss or fraction and when should I increase any one of these samples okay so for example after we finished I think that was the final yes here 
no yes I still have certain noise up there and up here I still have noise in these two areas with the default setting so we just need one more stand for the camera and let's see if it will make it cleaner than before or not but of course it will increase the render time if we see here it renders with 53 seconds and now let's see now I think it will take more because now it's not 36 but it's 64 so just one number to my symbols will increase the sampling here very very much because it's squared as we know before okay yes it's clean that's very nice if you see here cleaner than this see this rendering and this before we have noise up here but now it began to be cleaner than before and if you increase this one it will be more and more nicer okay and I think we have noise also at that area and I think we will have to wait a little bit just to see the final result because when you uh, just increase the number of your symbols or anti-alias uh, it will increase the time of your render so just wait a little bit and that's really nice it begin to be clean most of the model here yes and that's really nice let's see the difference see if we have a look here at that area before okay so now it's cleaner than before before have more noise than now and that's really cool so this is a very important part when dealing with sampling okay and also the samples of the light every light we will deal with we will talk about the samples of that light and that we'll talk about next time inshallah hope you like that thank you and goodbye